Semper Fi everyone, and welcome to the latest installment of Recon Jack. I'm your host, United States Marine Corps veteran and living historian Chuck Lidge. By special request of longtime subscriber Thomas, on today's episode I'll discuss the history of the 1st Battalion, 9th Marine Regiment. During the Vietnam War, 1-9 was given the nickname The Walking Dead for having sustained the highest casualty rate in Marine Corps history. Leave it to us Marines for acquiring such a nickname. The battalion was activated on 20 November 1970 at Quantico, Virginia as a 9th Marine Regiment. During December 1917, they were deployed to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba and attached to the 3rd Marine Provisional Brigade. They were relocated during August 1918 to Fort Crockett, Galveston, Texas and detached from the 3rd MPB. They then moved to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania during April 1919 and were deactivated on 25 April 1919. The battalion was again activated on 1 March 1942 at San Diego, California and was assigned to the 2nd Marine Regiment of the 2nd Marine Division. They were reassigned during August 1942 to Amphibious Corps Pacific Fleet and shortly thereafter relocated during September 1942 to Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton, California and reassigned to the 3rd Marine Division. During World War II, they deployed during January and February 1943 to Auckland, New Zealand and from there participated in the Battle of Bougainville that September, the Battle of Guam in July 1944, and the Battle of Iwo Jima in February and March 1945. Following the surrender of Japan, 1-9 was detached during December 1945 from the 3rd Marine Division, and it returned during December 1945 to Camp Pendleton, California. They were formally deactivated on 31 December 1945. During the Vietnam War, the unit earned the name The Walking Dead for its high casualty rate. The battalion endured the longest sustained combat and suffered the highest killed in action rate in Marine Corps history, especially during the Battle of July 2 during Operation Buffalo in 1967. The battalion was engaged in combat for 47 months and 7 days from 15 June 1967 to 19 October 1966 and 11 December 1966 to 14 July 1969. Based on a typical battalion strength of 800 Marines and Navy Hospital Corpsmen, 2,892 Marines passed through the unit over those 47 months, with 747, or nearly 26% killed in action and two missing in action. The battalion first arrived in Vietnam in June 1965 as part of the troop increase and escalation that year as U.S. forces took over most combat operations from the South Vietnamese. By August, they were involved in offensive combat operations as part of Operation Blastout, a search and clear mission. More missions continued throughout 1965 and into 1966. In their first year in Vietnam, the Marines of 1-9 would conduct hundreds of company-sized or larger missions. The battalion also developed the Sparrowhawk concept, which was essentially a heliborne quick reaction force that could be called in to help f win a fight in which Marines on patrol had found themselves. They then rotated out of Vietnam for a few brief months beginning in October 1966. When the unit returned in December of that year, the operations tempo greatly increased. The Marines of 1-9 started in 1967 with the anticlimactic Operation Deckhouse 5. From there, operations picked up in the 9th Marines tactical area of responsibility. This area just south of the demilitarized zone became known as Leatherneck Square for the high number of Marine casualties. The Marines there saw the wind, rather than blowing, made a sucking sound. In this area, the 1st Battalion 9th Marines became the legendary Walking Dead. The battalion participated in three phases of Operation Prairie within Leatherneck Square. Casualties were heavy as the Marines conducted search and destroy missions. In less than a month through mid-1967, Marine casualties during Prairie 4 were 167 KIA and over 1,200 wounded. In July, 1-9 participated in Operation Buffalo, a clearing mission up Highway 561. On the first day of the operation, July 2, the Marines of a and B companies encountered strong National Vietnamese Army resistance. 
The fighting was bitter, with the MVA using flamethrowers to burn the vegetation and force the Marines into the open. An MVA artillery round wiped out the entire company headquarters for B Company. Soon, the commander of 1-9 sent in C and D companies to relieve. With significant support, they were finally able to force the MVA to break contact. The battalion suffered 84 Marines KIA and 190 wounded in action. The next day, only 27 Marines from B Company and 90 from A Company were fit for combat duty. A combination of the remnants of companies A and C several days later was able to get some payback on the MVA, inflicting 154 enemy killed. By the middle of July, Operation Buffalo came to an end. Almost immediately, the men of the 9th Marines were back in action as part of Operation Kingfisher in the western portion of Leatherneck Square. This operation drug on until the end of October 1967. The sporadic but intense combat saw another 340 Marines killed and over 1,400 WIA in Leatherneck Square. January 1968 found the battalion reinforcing the infamous Quezon Combat Base just south of the DMZ and west of Leatherneck Square. The Marines at Quezon not only held the base, but they also fought in the hills surrounding it. Just over a week before the Tet Offensive began on 30 January 1968, the North Vietnamese began laying siege to Quezon. Some 6,000 Marines, including 1-9, would endure daily shelling and close combat for 77 days before being relieved. In all, 205 Americans were killed and over 1,600 wounded defending Quezon. A further 200 Marines died in the bloody fighting in the hills surrounding Quezon. The lifting of the siege was hardly the end for the Walking Dead, though. Immediately upon relief of duty from the defense of Quezon, they began Operation Scotland II to clear the area nearby. Following the conclusion of the operation, the Marines of 1-9 returned to the Hill of Angels and took part in Operation Kentucky. This action would last until near the end of 1968. In early 1969, the 1st Battalion, as part of the larger 9th Marine Regiment, launched Operation Dewey Canyon, the last major Marine Corps operation in Vietnam. During this time, the Marines swept through the MVA Control A Shao Valley and others near the DMZ. In a heroic action on 22 February 1968, then Lieutenant Wesley Fox earned the Medal of Honor. The Marines suffered over 1,000 casualties during the operation. The entire regiment was awarded a presidential unit citation for their extraordinary heroism during Operation Dewey Canyon. The Walking Dead, along with the rest of the 9th Marines, redeployed from Vietnam in the summer of 1969 to Okinawa. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Recon Jack, and perhaps you've learned something new. Stay tuned for part two of this episode as I continue to explore the hallowed history, traditions, and individuals of the United States Marine Corps. Please feel free to like this video, subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and leave a comment in the section below. I always enjoy interacting with you folks and seeing the growth of this channel. Also, don't hesitate to tell a friend or family member or email me directly to recon underscore jack at hotmail.com. And until next time, Semper Fi and carry on.